Hello, welcome to the Media Current Contrib Half Hour. It is September 30th, Year of Our Cat 2021. Today we're going to look at news and issues and general Q&A. If you have some issues you'd like us to take a look at, please do post them in the chat and we will get to them in just a moment. So housekeeping, my name is Damien McKenna. I am community lead at MediaCurrent. I use the pronouns he, him. I've been involved in the Drupal community since 2007. Do a bunch of stuff, but people recognize me as that guy with the bunny ears who hops around issue queues. My time is sponsored by MediaCurrent. We're a full service digital agency that implements world-class open source software development strategy and design to achieve defined goals for enterprise organizations seeking a better return on investment. And we love working with Drupal. These meetings are set up as a community project. So uh, we have an issue queue for, with issues for each meeting. You can get issue credit just by leaving a message in today's meeting issue and see the upcoming schedule on the project page, which, oh, oh yes, we adhere to the Drupal code of conduct. Go to drupal.org slash DCOC if you have not read it recently. I forgot to update this slide because on the 21st, we're going to have another presentation on writing tests. Uh, this time it's going to be on kernel tests. So that's on October 21st. The other weeks are open for topics. So if there's something that you'd like to discuss, please post them in the planning issue or send a message, whatever. Send a pigeon my way with a note attached in a thingy on its ankle, however you want to do it. So um, not a whole lot of news this week that we haven't seen before. DrupalCon Europe is next week and it's all online. Um, uh, there is going to be some focus around getting people to pick up maintaining out of date modules that is going to definitely be a focus for the week. Um, I know the DA has been pushing for people to get involved and help bring Drupal 8 modules up to date. So uh, myself and others will be available to help in the maintainer, maintainers channel and support channel on Slack, etc. Um, I believe there's also going to be a open kind of um, sprint area for the week, but check out the project page or the check out the event page for details. And then DrupalCon Portland is next April with uh, the call for papers out now. If you have a topic you'd like to present on in person in Portland, in the USA, 2022. Um, they're looking for ideas now. Then at the community level, at the, um, the local community level, we have Drupal GovCon and Drupal Camp Poland, and then Drupal Camp NYC. Oh yeah, and um, they're all in October. Ned Camp apparently went back to online only instead of in person, that's in November. And as always, go to dribble.org slash community slash events to see lots more events from around the world. Anybody have anything else they would like to share? Any other events, other news? Let me know. Feel free to unmute yourself. Oh, thank you, Marky. Please. Uh, jump in and say, uh, I think it was actually posted in Slack earlier, but um, there is some work underway with the project browser that um, could use some input from maintainers in terms of 
changing some of the metadata around project browsers, which potentially will um, create some changes in terms of uh, sort of the edit interface of projects on Drupal.org and also the way things are categorized and also found in the upcoming uh, project browser module. So um, input from maintainers, I think, would be really valuable on that. Cool. Um, would you mind digging up a link to that? We can actually jump into that. Um, because at this point, let's dig into your issues. So let me turn off full screen and then pull up. Oh yeah, I do have the browser. So that's going up Slack. Um, so Drupal project browser initiative. Ah, yes. So this is the, this is in reference to the project browser strategic initiative that was announced by Dries. Um, and the goal is to basically make it easier when you have a, let me see, DD. Let me start up my D9 site. When you have a Drupal site locally, um, to make it easier to find modules to add to your site. Right now, you have to, wait, you have, oh no, I don't want that browser tab. So many browser tabs. Go away, browser tab. Um, when you go to the extend page, Um, I enabled update manager module to update update manager. Let's see what it is right now. There's not much functionality in core, but it does provide a way that you can install a module through core, but it doesn't provide any nice interface for finding them. And it has been, uh, update and install. Um, so there's a big overlap between wanting to find modules when you are here versus when you are here. Right now on the D.O site, it has a somewhat rudimentary interface with a number of exposed filters on a view that lets you search for, say, uh, works with Drupal 9. Um, and you might want, say, an actively maintained module and has a supported stable release. Ah, has opted into security advisory coverage. And then three thousand matching modules. Then you do keyword search or filter by category, say, I don't know, examples or fields or something. And then the idea is that it shows you options that are available. Um, but then if you want to install it, you have to go to that page and then download the tar file, the zip file, or use Composer to download it, which is, the better approach. But it's all very manual. And there's a definite learning curve to doing all of that. So the idea with the project browser is to have a system built into core to make it easier to do. 
so that you would have a nice, easy to use search system on a page in your Drupal install to find modules that it would then be able to download them and install them right from within Drupal itself. Um, and because of the absolutely monumental performance improvements in Composer 2, it's actually technically feasible to do it and to do it properly using Composer. Um, so, uh, let's open up, thank you, Martin, for the links, the project browser project page. So if has, you, oh, okay, there you go. I was just going to say, that if on that project browser project project page, there's a button on there that'll launch uh, Drupal Pod with the project browser installed, so you can actually try it out. So that nice. uh, it's up a little bit. There's like a green button that says "Try it now." Okay. Um, well, let me also do my thing of downloading the code base. One of Zero dot X. And there's a composer file requires, let's see, any dependencies. Guzzle, Semver. So it has a couple of extra dependencies. Um, I'm going to. Just install it locally. Shake my fist at the screen and then yes, click that green button. Um, that's pretty excellent that they've hooked that up to streamline the process via Git pod. Um, it does take a few minutes to start up. Meanwhile, Project Browser requires Doctrine Cache, found Doctrine that, but the package is tied to version two. So is it being built with Drupal 8? No, only core nine. That is weird. So, while it's installing. Composer, why doctrine cache? Because doctrine persistence requires doctrine cache. So why persistence? Because doctrine common requires. So why doctrine common? Run the following command in your terminal. Wait until the terminal completes its operations. Drupal will open in the panel when it is complete. You can use the simple browser to use Drupal. Press the explorer button, that press the remote button, then the use terminal. Okay. So when it's finished, and Drupal 9.3 requires Doctrine Common. So, phooey. I wonder if it's not working because I have 9.3, testing it on 9.3. I wonder if I test it on 9.2. Composer require Drupal project browser. Hey, so a task that should be on somebody's to-do list is to make it compatible with project with um, 
core 9.3. Anyway, so I'll just start up this environment. Drupal pod is still loading. Hey, it worked. Um, so in the top right, if you click on that little square, it should launch it in a new tab. Oh, yeah, there you go. That one? Yep. Thank you. Uh, DB as the that. So it's admin admin. Oh, thank you. Actually, open open an issue uh, to say they should really say that explicitly. Alrighty. So then extend. And then browse. So that is exciting. Um, I like. So I know one thing they're working on right now, it still uses the existing set of categories. Um, which is a very long list. And there's also been some discussion around, I mean, a lot of modules will have no categories. Quite a few have right. one category and then some right. have like every category. So um, there's probably gonna be some level of overhaul. There's been discussion of taking the existing set of categories and potentially splitting them out into like three separate uh, vocabularies. So kind of like, you know, what it is, what it does, how it works, or, you know, some, some different way, and then having, you know, let's say a maximum of one category per vocabulary, something like that, um, which hopefully will make this process of being able to sort of navigate through more intuitive. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. Um, I mean, there's a major overlap between commerce and advertising and e-commerce. Um, and really those commerce and advertising should not be combined when there's a separate e-commerce uh, category. Um, this is really neat. Um, I wonder about things. So title search, it's good pagination, existing categories. Um, as a lover of all things search API, uh, I think it would work possibly better if it was facets driven rather than old style filters. But I understand with a, a goal to have something working first and then do refinements later. And Absolutely. search API isn't part of core anyway. Yeah, and the other thing too is that right now the title isn't even um, a proper keyword search. It's in, like you actually have to put in the exact title, which from a finding standpoint means you, you have to know which module it is before you can install it, which kind of goes against the idea of saying, you know, let's help you find modules, but- It's you know, an exact, search uh, rather than a Increase. partial search. Yeah, exactly. So so again, you know, it's it's yeah. you know steps on the path, right? Is that uh, built as a view? I have a feeling it is, yeah. but I'm I'm not too sure. I, I think also it may be pulling this I don't um, this information from um, Drupal.org in real time. So it may also be a question of what the API on the Drupal.org side uh, supports currently. Right. Project browser. Let's peek underneath the hood. So routing, there's a proxy. 
Okay, so I presume it is grabbing all of the data and storing it somehow, and then making future searches easier. Uh, browse controller. Let's look at the browse controller and the function browse. So module handler, library that. They're using PSR2 syntax or um, formatting, at least partially. And it was a PSR2. Anyway, um, so get module statuses. Yeah, it's that does not seem like it's a view. Um, lots of interesting things. Find project release for the what is felt js ah i do not know this svelte curiouser and curiouser Model show. Down of the Pagination Project Browser. And so yeah, there is lots going on. Um, Svelte is clearly not tweak out, but um very cool um i believe one of the keynotes next week at drupalcon is meant to be uh, about initiative updates and so i think there's going to be um, some kind of a presentation about uh, project browser and it's kind of where it is right now and where they're hoping to get to next and all of those good things. Very cool. Um, this is pretty impressive so far. Um, what happens if I do download? Download recommended ways through Composer or using Drush. Um, so there is kind of the, the long-term dream goal of making Composer a standard thing. And then the download button would do it for you um, using Composer, but that's obviously not there yet, but a little bit, um, uh, it's kind of a, a longer term goal. Um, but this is nice. Uh, one thing that I was hoping for would be that there would be more overlap between improvements here versus also improvements in the, where was it, project this uh, download and extend section on D.O itself, because it's the same data, it would make sense to have the two designs updated, displays updated at the same time. Um, but I guess that can come later because it is just a view 
So it would be somewhat straightforward to rebuild that display on Drupal once there's an agreed formatting and display and stuff. So cool. Um, I like that it shows the uh, flag for the security status there. That is uh, useful. Um, I wonder if that's what the recommended search is doing versus all, because there are 47,000 projects total. Um, but very cool. It is really awesome to see um, that uh, make such good progress in the past year. So thanks for bringing it up, Martin. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> happy to share with the group and, and definitely anybody who wants to try it out. Again, you can use that same link on the, the product page and um, project page and, you know, open issues for things you, things you think would make it better. So it's uh, a good time to get in feedback. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's look at the issue queue because you had mentioned there was a call for discussion or input from maintainers. Um, yeah, I guess there's an overlap between um, the technical implementation and also the architectural decisions. So, um, but cool. Oh, a buff. Discussion of updating categories on project pages. Hey, hey, hey. Um, ET, Eastern US time, I presume. Let me just post a message requesting they post the time in UTC. Given that DrupalCon is in Europe, or DrupalCon Europe is you know based on European time zones, it would make sense to include either UTC or at least some European time zones in the uh, time there. Um, October 4th, I'll have to try and attend that. Um, but very, very cool. Um, well, that is excellent. Thank you very much for the topic, Martin. Um, let's leave it there for this week. We will be back again, if I find the slide. So, uh, next week, October 7th, hope everybody has a fantastic week. And again, if there is something you'd like us to discuss or take a look at, please post a message in or comment in the plan issue and we'll schedule it in. Thank you and take care.